Hey guys, this is Zamrin guys. So in this tutorial, we are going to upload our Visual Studio project to Azure DevOps. I have already an account inside it. So I will sign in with my Azure DevOps account. Click on continue. After that, we will be giving our organization a different name so that it will hold multiple projects inside it. So at first the project that is going to be created inside that DevOps organization name is my new Visual Studio developer project that is our git project. This is our git version control project that is at first created. Now we'll be creating another project. That is our my new test project. We'll select private then team foundation version control this is our another project that is based on team foundation version control project that's all now now we'll be uploading our visual studio project using team foundation version control i have two version of visual studio that is our visual studio 2019 as well as visual studio 2017 while opening our visual studio 2019 we can select continue without code then inside our views views tab select other option and then source control explorer or else inside our visual studio 2017 select team explorer along with that we have to select other windows and then source control explorer now we need to get connected with the same project that we have created inside our azure devops so sign in with the same account name and then select the team foundation server project that we have created previously that is our team foundation version control project now after we get connected in order to send our given project to azure devops we should create a local folder so inside our desktop we'll be creating a new local folder I'll give it name as new local folder then inside our desktop we'll select new local folder and then we'll map it then our next objective is to place all the projects inside that local folder so that we could send it to Azure DevOps using team foundation version control so let's take our visual studio project and then paste it inside the same folder that you have mapped it that's all now we need to add items as well as folder the same local folder that we have created previously we'll take that and then inside which we have placed our visual studio project then we'll select all and then finish it that's all now we need to check in pending changes so that this whole project will go to our azure devops so i'll give it name as commit one you can give any name as you like as a comment that's all now we'll send this project to as the same name you can give any name as you like that's all now inside our azure devops we'll see our given project thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials